I went into film school wanting to direct feature films and wanting to do films that I wouldn't call them documentaries, but movies that move people, movies that make people think differently mm-hmm. about life and about themselves. Um, and when we got a project at school, I thought I was going to make a feature film and then I started budging and I'm like, oh, I've got a thousand dollars. I don't think I'm making a feature film for a thousand dollars. There was no Kickstarter back uh, there. Uh, no, <laughs> there was just, there was just mom, there was just mom and dad and brother. Anyway. Um, so then I thought I'll do a short film and that was too expensive too. So that's how I ended up doing a music video. And I, um, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do a video for an artist I love. So I, I picked two bands that I loved, looked on their records, saw who their record labels were. And back then you could call 411 on the telephone and they'd give you like people's phone numbers. You know? so, <laughs> so I called up and I asked for Epitaph and Lookout because my favorite bands at the time were No Effects and Green Day. Mm. And um, they gave me the number and I called and I talked to both them and they said, oh, the artists, you know, do their own music videos. Because back then music videos were not big and punk. Um, and so, yeah, they gave me Fat Mike's number and they gave me Green Days, which they had lived together at the time. And I ended up talking to both of them. Yeah. And what, what was that conversation? Like your first conversation with them, I imagine, right? Yeah, totally. And I'm like, I'm a huge fan of the band. I'm in film school. I want to make a music video for your song X. I've got an idea, you know, can we meet? And, um, when Fat Mike was in LA, we met. I, I had a whole like nice vellum bound proposal for them. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And that's how the Bob video came. About uh, Green Day, I said the same thing. And they're like, yeah, let's get together when we're in LA. And then, yeah, they were too stoned to show up. <laughs> a couple of those Green Day joints. Right, <laughs> Trey's always not. walking around. That's why it's called Green Day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, dude, it was, uh, the first time I met Trey, a uh, real quick Green Day story, was uh, Trey and the rest of the guys was at like a Kareem Awards mm-hmm. many years ago. I think, I think they were just coming back with uh, American Idiot and about to be on top of the world again. And uh, yeah, we were, we were huge fans, got to meet him, and, and I, was, I had been shrooming all day. We, mm-hmm. we went down to Camden and found shrooms. We were so excited that they just sold, sold rather, uh, shrooms. Mm-hmm. We went to the award show on shrooms, met the guys in Green Day, and Trey was like, hey, you wanna smoke a joint? At the time, I didn't smoke weed, and I was like, nah. He's like, you're not gonna smoke a Green Day joint with me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Fucking Trey, man. I love this guy. So. I wouldn't be surprised if they grew their own pot. You know, <laughs> I mean, we're out in London. I don't know if he's, if he smuggled it over there. Or right. I don't know. <laughs> he grew up in the forest there in Northern California, so I'm sure he was growing his own stuff. Uh, he's so. got a green thumb then. He's got yeah. a green thumb for sure. Yeah, but no, they were, I mean, they were nice guys, but I couldn't get them back on the phone. I mm. tried like multiple times after that. So my whole life would be different if I did the Welcome to Paradise video instead of the Bob video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 